Hi guys, now you are going to learn about the delta delta connection of P phase transformers. Okay, see, this is the delta connection uh, in which the three windings of the transformer are connected. Okay, so this is the primary winding and this one is the secondary winding. See, if you consider this is the first winding and this is the second winding and this is the third. Okay, then, see, start from here. One end is connected to immediate end and next. That immediate end is connected to the next immediate end and first and last ends are connected. See, the three phase transformers are like this. The three phase uh, transformer is like this. Now, we can connect delta connection means like this. The first and last ends are connected. Similarly, here also. This forms a delta connection. If you consider this is R, Y and B of the uh, primary, we can say that it is delta connected primary. Delta connected primary. And here we can say it is delta connected connected secondary. As a whole, we can say this is delta delta transformer. Okay? Delta delta transformer. What is the main use of delta delta connection? The main use of delta delta connection is it is mainly used for high currents and low voltages. This is the first thing you have to keep in mind. Whenever we require high currents and low voltages, then we will go with the delta delta connection. Okay? And one more thing is even the load is unbalanced. Even the load is unbalanced, the voltage remains a constant. Okay? The voltage remains a constant even though the load is unbalanced. Means the delta delta action will allow an unbalanced load. Okay? And here in case of delta delta connection, phase current is equal to 1 by root 3 times line current. 1 by root 3 times line current. Means, if line current is 100 and phase current is equal to 57.7. Okay? So, as the phase current is less, as the phase current is less, the cross section of conductor also reduces. The cross section of conductor reduces. Whenever the cross section of conductor reduces, the weight of copper required will be less. The weight of copper required will be less. So, why the cross section of conductor is reduced? Because the phase current in the phase current in delta connection is reduced by root 3 times. Okay, here the phase current in delta connection is reduced by root 3 times. Okay. And if uh, in any case if one of the 
delta connected phase is removed if this one is removed then uh, if any fault occurs in this uh, winding and if this one is removed then there is a no problem for the supply the supply will be maintained constant okay so we can say that uh, if one of the delta connected phase is removed you can say if one of the delta connected phase is removed due to fault then what happens then supply will be continued then supply will be continued for remaining two phases so this is the thing only possible in delta delta connection but whenever we operate the transformer like this uh, with uh, one phase is uh, removed then automatically what happens is the efficiency of the transformer decreases the efficiency of the transformer decreases but there is no distortion of secondary voltages okay so next thing is we can say all these are uh, advantages of uh, this uh, delta delta connection okay but the main disadvantages with delta delta connection is in uh, uh, delta delta connection uh, we don't have a fourth point that is uh, neutral is absent we can say so neutral is absent so this system is uh, not uh, suitable for three phase four wire system okay that is the thing you have to, uh, three phase four wire system this is not suitable why because there is a uh, no neutral point and here uh, the uh, another disadvantage is also there that is uh, the insulation required is more insulation required is more when compared to star star connection okay for delta 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 connection the insulation required is more okay this is a delta delta connection of the three phase transformer thank you